Yo, what it do guys, and welcome to my Kuva Lich Guide. Let's jump straight into things by beginning with the different stages of what you need to know. First, the Lich Larblin. Doing any mission with level 20 or higher grinny enemies will spawn a Lich Larblin within them. This usually requires you to kill a few enemies before the Larblin will appear, however. Because of this, let's focus on the planet Saturn and the node Cassini. This is the lowest capture mission you could do to meet these requirements. When entering a mission, kill around 15 enemies, capture your target, and then your screen will begin to flash. Torn in you is a Kuva Guardian which has spawned a Lich Larblin. Now before you do go fight your Lich Larblin, there are a few things that you need to know that will help you save a lot of time when it comes to repeating the Liches. When killing your Lich Larblin, the weapon it gives you is random. So if you do not want that weapon, then do not capture the Lich Larblin. You can kill it and leave it alone if it is not the weapon that you want. The Warframe you are using matters when killing the Lich Larvelin. Warframes will change the base element of the Kuva weapon. On screen is a chart showcasing which element you will get on your weapon when using a certain Warframe. Please keep in mind this could change in the future, but pause the video for now and read what you need to. Due to the meta within Warframe, I encourage you to stick to Warframes that give you either Toxin or Heat as your elemental for your Kuva weapons. Now that you are aware of this, kill and capture your Lich Lovelin. You will witness them exploding and tearing apart in the air. They will now become your Lich once you complete or leave the mission. Second, the Kuva Lich menu and the Parazon. Now that you are back inside your orbiter, a Lich will begin talking to you. Let's access our new Lich by opening up our menu and clicking on the Lich icon in the bottom right. From here, we can now see our Lich. Here's a quick breakdown of what you need to know on this screen. The Lich's name can be found right here. This is randomly generated and some names can actually be hilarious. Underneath the name of the Lich are the abilities the Lich will use in combat. Again, depending on what Warframe you use to kill the Lich earlier, will determine the ability sh set shared amongst several Warframes within this genre. Have a read through the Lich's abilities so you know what you are facing. Next we have the Rage Meter of the Lich. To put simply, the more annoyed your Lich is at you, the more chance of them spawning inside your missions to fight you. You will progress this bar by killing your Lich's thralls, but we will talk a little bit about this later. Every Lich will have different weaknesses and resistances. Try to mod your weapons to weaken the Lich and avoid any resistances for your weapons that the Lich has against you. The weapon name will be stated right here. You can also see your Lich holding the weapon as well. Right underneath that is the percentage of the weapon bonus. This ranges from I believe 25% lowest and 60% highest. The higher percentage you have, the more base damage on your weapon you will get when you defeat your Lich. The birthplace and the progenitor are not as important. This is just stating what took place and what you killed it with, so you don't have to pay too much attention to this detail. Your Lich also has a chance of spawning with a Vengeful Ephemera. As of right now, there is nothing written down telling you that your Lich has an Ephemera on them. However, looking at my Lich here, we can see he is clouded by a Toxin Mist. This means I got lucky as he spawned with an Ephemera that I will obtain when I defeat my Lich. In the top right of the Lich menu, you will see three segments. This is when you equip Requiem mods, or otherwise known as Immortal mods. This will always showcase the mods you have equipped on your Parazon, so please, remember, keep checking what mods you are using, you don't want to keep repeating the same mistake by not checking. There are 8 Immortal mods, Vas, Jahu, Kra, Lok, Netra, Riss, Vohm, and Zata. On these mods are description, and for what it's worth you do not have to care about these descriptions, but continue to remember the name and the icon type of each mod, this will help you. You will place them inside your Parazon like you would mod anything within Warframe. Your Parazon is a multi-tool that can be used ag against the Lich when they are low enough to attempt and execute on them. They can also be used against Thralls and it can also be used for hacking, hence the multi-tool. So don't forget to keep this thing modded when you are fighting your Liches. Whenever you successfully defeat your Lich, one of three charges will be used up on your Immortal mods. So they do offer multiple usages rather than use once and dispose. These are not permanent. You will need a couple of these. Moving back to the Lich menu screen, any successful or failed attempts at fighting your Lich will be tracked right here. A colour indicating as blue will mean that you have successfully found the right pattern for that immortal mod in the sequence. However, red will mean that you have attempted a mod 
and unfortunately it was failed at being incorrect. Underneath this section are the known Requiems. You will begin to learn these with experience from fighting enemy thralls and attempting to defeat your Lich. Although you can learn one of these, they will always rotate position, so just because you've found one Requiem does not mean the pattern will start with this mod, however it could also start with the mod. Remember to pay attention to your Requiem attempts above. The more you fight your Lich, the more understanding you will gain from them. It is a learning process. Third, Thralls and Requiem Relics. As mentioned before, enemy Thralls are a way of learning the Requiem mods needed for your Lich. Also, this is a way to annoy your Lich to come out of hiding and begin to fight you. To find your Thralls, open up your navigation and you will begin to notice a planet looking a little different. Encased by a glowing red mist, your Lich has now secured this planet. This means any rewards you earn from any missions, the Lich will now begin to tax you and take them off of you. This can even include your Rivens. So my advice to you is once you start a Lich, try to finish it as soon as you can. You will get your rewards back in the end, however. Click on the Occupy Planet and choose a node with a mist around it. You'll be prompted to choose either a normal mission or a Lich mission. The difference between these are that your Lich missions have tougher enemies whilst also having enemy thrall units, so always choose to fight against your Lich's army. Thralls are an easy to understand process. Shoot, then execute. Whether you or a teammate execute a thrall, all of you will gain Murmur progress. This is a bar that will gradually build up to refill one of your known Requiems to use against your Lich. With every Thrall execute, you are annoying your Lich. Now remember, if you queue up your Lich mission with a team, then only the person whose Thralls belong to that Lich will get the Rage Meter built up. It makes sense, but I hope this can change for team values. So, most people will solo Liches. For every Thrall kill, you get an opportunity to receive one of four Requiem Relics. These are used and act like normal Relics, except within them are the Immortal Mods that you need. When you obtain a Requiem Relic, you can open them on Fissures at the Kuva Fortress. Again, the enemies will be tougher, but ideally it's the same process as opening a normal Relic. We are beyond halfway through this guide, but here's some advice. I encourage you to work on getting your Immortal Mods first. You can also earn a Requiem Relic from completing Kuba Siphon and Kuba Flood missions. So do a couple of these first for the Relics. Then get yourself a couple of Immortal Mods or at least one of every mod before you jump into anything Lich related. This will help speed up the process. Fourth, the Kuva Lich fight. As you are building up your Rage Meter, there is a chance that your Lich will spawn ready to fight you. At the top of your screen, you will see the Lich's boss's shields on the second bar and the Lich's health bar separated into three different sections. Take down the shield by damaging the Lich with wep weapons or Warframe abilities, then proceed to take down one of his three health bars in the usual fashion. When you deal enough damage to his health bar, he will stumble to the ground and slowly recover his health back. It's in this time that you want to walk up to your Lich and attempt an execute by performing a Parazon finisher. This is where you will find out if those immortal mods you have are in the correct order. Even if you do not know any of the pattern, you should always attempt an execute. This is a process of elimination. The odds of you getting all of this right on your first attempt is a 1 in 336 chance. This is what I mean by a learning pattern. The more you fight your Lich, the more you will understand how to defeat them. If you attempt an execute and your Requiem is correct, you will proceed to take down the part of his health bar. Repeat in this process for each correct execute until you've finally figured out the pattern needed to successfully defeat your Lich. If you guess your attempt wrong, your Lich will leave the mission, going away and leveling up. The first time you fight your Lich, they will be level 1. They can scale up to level 5, getting much harder to fight. The enemies will also scale with the Lich's level 2. Their rage will also reset, so you will have to build that back up again to get their interest to refight you if you fail and execute. Hopefully, with everything you have learned, you have finally downed your Lich. On this screen, there will now be two options. Vanquish. You will kill your Lich. You will get their weapon, and if they have an Ephemera, you will also get that too. Convert. You will convert your Lich, but you won't get their weapon at all. You will still get the Ephemera, however, if they do have one. 
but if you choose to do this option, then the Lich can also have a random chance to come fight for you in a random mission. They can also be traded amongst other players. At first, I, I suggest you try to get in the habit of vanquishing your Liches. You'll want the weapons as they are very good. And now that you have killed your Lich, he will leave you alone. Your planets will be back to normal, and they will no longer tax you or harass you anymore. All the rewards you once lost will be given back to you, and now, if you so choose, you can come back again and repeat everything for a new Lich with a new weapon. A few other notes to mention on this. Check your codex, and you can see your Kuva Lich history. You cannot trade a Lich you got from another player, you can only use it, so each and every single Lich has a maximum limit trading of just once. In order to trade for a Lich, you need to build the Lich trading hub within your dojo, or go to another dojo that has a Lich trading hub. If you get the same Lich weapon, you can also Valence transfer it. This means that you can combine the same Kuba weapon together to get a bigger elemental percentage to end up with. You can also swap elementals and convert a percentage of it over as well. This is mostly for min-maxing your weapon efficiency, however. Liches are still new to the game, so the odds are they may see some future changes. However, I hope this guide has helped you. I try to keep this guide as short and as sweet as possible, so I hope I cleared up the basics for you guys to understand and just jump straight in towards doing Lich hunts. If I did miss anything, or if you have any questions, uh, or even if I overlooked something, then please leave a comment below and we'll try to help guide you along. A friendly reminder that if you enjoyed watching or learning, then please leave a like or even subscribe to the channel. And you can also catch me live on twitch.tv forward slash no sympathy, where I play Warframe and Variety from time to time. Until the next video, I hope you guys have a good one. Thank you so much for watching and good luck with your Grinier Kuva Liches.